Well, lawmakers passed reforms last month, and they say that the market will eventually stabilize. Until that happens, we are going to continue to report on what's happening on the ground. We have been literally every day stressed, stressed, stressed. Hurricane season day two, and Tina Hemi is scrambling to secure coverage. A month ago, Lighthouse Property Insurance sent her a cancellation notice. The company was losing money and forced to liquidate. Right now, uh, paradise doesn't look like paradise to us anymore. As Tina waits for Florida's new property insurance laws to kick in, news that another company, Heritage Insurance, is suspending new business in multiple counties, including Polk County. Heritage joining three others, also declining to take on new homeowners in parts of the state. Southern Fidelity, ASI Progressive, and People's Trust. But why is this happening now after the special session that was supposed to fix this crisis? We asked State Senator Jim Boyd, one of the architects of the new laws. I think some of the carriers, you know, were contemplating that before we went into session uh, as respect to their writings and trying to limit their writings. That's not entirely unusual. You know, I believe we've done good work and I'd like to see those results play out. So okay. we got the notice on April 29th. Tina has called her local lawmakers to ask for help. She claims she hasn't heard back. It's likely citizens, the insurer of last resort, will be her only resort. I don't feel like they're listening in Tallahassee. You know, our church, our friends, our life is here. So the idea that we would be to the point where we want to sell and move is not really what we want to do. You know, this is how it's going to be. It, it's, it's, it's not worth it. And Tina is hoping to finalize a contract with Citizens Insurance. Reporting in the Tampa Newsroom, Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.